to Day of the Dove Presents. Mm. I am Donna Isham, and I play Daphne on the Day of the Dove web series. And today I am here with Peter Grigg. Hi. And Doug Bezeski. Hi. Of Two Men and a Duck Entertainment. And they not only write for this series, but they act, they produce, they do the cameras. They basically do a little bit of everything. But today, I would like to focus on the writing portion and ask you guys a few questions if you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. We're ready. Okay. So, first question is going to be for Peter Grigg. Mm -hmm. Peter Grigg. So, Day of the Dove was your dream. I'd like for you to tell us a little bit about how it came to be. We were filming a uh, horror thriller killer short when... During the process, I kept telling your husband and member of our our, um, our group whose that we is... ought to, whose name is Doug Pierce, <laughs> that we ought to film uh, a little dove movie who try a little dove that tries to take over the world, make it a sci-fi, and and I just like harassed him over this for about three months until finally he just said like write the damn thing so I did and that's <laughs> how it came to be um, it happened to be a time too that uh, my daughter had got some diamond doves and I had watched Alfred Hitchcock's uh, The Birds and sort of all those three things together we came up with a, our first go at it which was a little bit darker and then we flipped it more towards a comedy so would you say the first season was more of a Goofy type fun. Yeah, or? yeah, okay. yeah. The pilot, the very first one, was dark. But after that, uh, the the intention was to have sort of a non political comedy slapstick kind of pinky in the brain feel, Gilligan's Island uh, slapstick kind of humor feel. What does your writing process look like, and how do you guys go from the an idea to the actual production script? Well, first we have a delicious lunch together where we <laughs> have ideas and throw them back and forth. And, uh, and once we even had uh, Peter's daughter Meg with us mm -hmm. and uh, just throw out ideas, get it, get it. And Peter writes it all down mm -hmm. and then he throws in the backseat of his car and we never see it again. <laughs> so I run home and write down three ideas that we agreed on. Mm -hmm. And then two more that we didn't agree on, but <laughs> Peter doesn't remember that. Mm -hmm. So, and I will, I'll, I usually write the rough draft, and then Peter will fix it up and make it look nice and write some better lines. And then he gives it to Doug Pierce, and will make it good for production and keep the character arcs and uh, throw in a few jokes of his own. And then we have a production script. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, well, the production script is very different. I mean, that that uh, 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 Doug Pierce has to take the other scripts to uh, figure out how to film things and the order. Uh, the um, production script isn't always filmed in the order of an episode. Uh, it may be shot out of order, and, and it, it, so it's 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 different than just uh, the final draft uh, script. When you guys write a character, do you envision that actor to play it exactly how you write it, or do you let the actor um, ad lib a little bit? Uh, we we shoot for the surprise and even ad libbing and adding lines uh, as we go. We want to be surprised a lot of it. A lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of it. yeah. But uh, the script has to give some direction about what's sort of the, the tone of the scene and the setup and kind of what's going on. But uh, beyond that, uh, we give uh, the actors on set room to come up with a creative interpretation. We like them to ad lib. Uh, I think it makes it funnier. It makes it more spontaneous. I think it makes the actor more comfortable and they they like to be creative, mm -hmm. and uh, they created some great things. First season, you guys did it on location, but the second season, you chose to do it on a pirate ship, the whole season on a pirate ship. How exactly did that come to be? We wanted to do the second season on green screen to work with that, that technology. We said, so we ended the first season going in the past, and it was like, well, where should we go in the past? Romans, Greeks, cowboys and Indians? And 
pirates and uh, so we gave you three choices and you said pirates would probably be the easiest to deal with and it sounded like the most fun. Okay, in two seasons of the web series, what have you learned about writing a weekly series? I think one of the interesting things is like how the production, I mean, we see seen in individual scenes, but it, I'm always amazed how good a job Doug Pierce does in putting together the uh, editing and then seeing the final episodes, like, wow, that all fit together, you know? Because uh, you kind of wrote it and then you had an idea, but then you see this thing filmed and, and then you kind of forget some of it because it's been a while since you wrote it and, mm -hmm. and played with it. It's like, oh yeah. I remember writing something like that. <laughs> On there, there's actual line, line I wrote. Hey. <laughs> we like to get all our um, uh, uh, draft of scripts to Doug, uh, our director, at least six weeks ahead of shooting. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think the number of times we met that goal is... Uh, like zero. <laughs> less than one, but more than negative one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Not only do you guys write, but you guys both act in this web series. And Peter, we'll start with you. You play a character named Hank and six to seven of his clones. How do you make each one of those different in your acting? Uh, sometimes I have a lot of trouble. And uh, some of them I really like, like Dr. Thaddeus Brown the Fourth. I, I really like the psychiatrist who's just like a... A goofball, um, but he's a lot of fun to play, and he reminds me of some psychiatrists I've worked with over the years. And so, uh, some of them, and Hank has been fun, others um, have been okay. And I try to do a little bit of stupid twist, but you know, I know, like yeah, Dr. <laughs> Zit is also one of my favorites, so he keeps having these pimples that pop and freaking out the cast, uh, and so. Some of them I, I've thoroughly enjoyed trying to really figure out. Others have been um, not as, uh, I've had a little more trouble trying to make them unique. I never intended to play seven um, different people. I, parts were written and one of the things you learned. Who's the writer? Well, it's, it's not that the, the problem that you're writing the parts, it's a, you know, a lot of this is done on volunteers and people right. will say, okay, I'll come and act a part and then their schedule changes or something and it's like you either change the script or you decide to act as a different character. And Doug, you play not only the accountant, but you also do the voice of Cash, who's our diamond dev. How did you develop those two characters? Well, the accountant was kind of on the fly because I was going to make him a little mean, but uh, more serious and, uh, you know, and getting things done uh, a little more competent. And uh, then one of the actors didn't show up and it was an actor that was supposed to act opposite of Damiana. And uh, they were supposed to be kind of friends and give each other a hard time. And, uh, you know, I got those lines, but I said, no, the accountant wouldn't be friends with Damiana. So, we um, kind of made that a hate relationship, and Damiana, Olivia, who plays Damiana, picked up on that right away. And I think we have a good hate relationship on the show, and uh, that worked really well. And then uh, Cash, the uh, Diamond Dub, um, you know, he's, he likes to seem confident and taking over the world, and the boss and uh, everybody. Uh, is to obey him, but he feels a little uncomfortable because he's a bird, and uh, so he's uh, he likes to put people down because uh, people uh, are surprised he is the leader because he's so small, and you know, like you have a million dollars, and I think he kind of takes that personally, so he, he's he's rough on everybody, and he, he's kind of a demeaning boss. Well, he is a demeaning boss. <laughs> well, you know your characters well. <laughs> and he still wants to take over the world. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, you know, writing for him um, sometimes is not good because in uh, one of the episodes, I have the count hit in the face by a pie, and uh, we just recently filmed that, and... Uh, 
And I wrote that, and then I was thinking, <laughs> because it, it kind of seemed natural at the time, and it fit in with the script and everything, and then when later when we're filming that, I'm thinking, why did I write that? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the pizza pie. That's yeah. what yes, that was fun to yeah, watch, though. We didn't, we didn't <laughs> get you with a cream pie, but that's a good idea for later. <laughs> oh, here we yeah, go. somebody will get hit. We're going to be the accountant. <laughs> what about you, Peter? Have you written something about one of your characters that you're like, oh, man, why did I write that for myself? Uh, zit. Yeah, yeah, think of, of an evil scientist that has a, a problem with really bad acne that keeps popping and spraying people. I, I think on one level that people may not appreciate. <laughs> That's so cool to watch. Yeah, it was. It definitely uh, makes you cringe. <laughs> it does. It does make you cringe. And then I, you know, our original uh, zits uh, we have filled with uh, whipped cream and orange juice. And so uh, there, there's scenes where I'm like licking the zit and stuff, and people on, on set were going, ah! <laughs> And Donna so, created that. Yeah, She's Donna created that. She's our costume designer. Yeah, I tried. Make <laughs> out, make out, make out. What would you guys say is the goal for our audience to get from the series Day of the Dog? We have a political agenda. <laughs> 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 no, okay. but it changes it. every episode that's yeah. why they're all so. uh, we'd like people to watch it and get a laugh and we'd like to build a giant cult like following like Rocky Horror Picture Show has those are our two main objectives there's no deep philosophical meaning of life kind of message from the show if you think there is an agenda tell us about it because we want to find out what it is because we have no idea, <laughs> and uh, we we want to make a script out of it so we can make fun of the the hidden agenda. The hidden agenda, <laughs> whatever it is. All right, final question, and you guys got to think really, really hard about this one. Do you have a favorite actress in the Day of the Dove series? I oh. think the spy is very beautiful. <laughs> I could go for her. And the spy is who to you? My lovely wife to spy. My uh, daughter, Margaret, plays Meg Lord. And, of course, Daphne. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, well, that wraps up our, our little interview today. And next time, maybe we'll talk about more about you guys being actors. Or we'll get Doug Pierce on the screen. Oh, that my would God. Be yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yay. We have to he plays two characters now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, thank you guys very much. I really appreciated your time. Thank you, Donna. Thank you.